I added some lamps in my room so you can actually see what's going on back here. It's just some crappy um, artwork and some trash, but you guys knew the trash was there. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another Rena K YouTube video. Today I'm going to be testing out the long anticipated Glitz Glitter Gel. This is a product created by Gina K and Thermoweb, and I actually tested this product at the Thermoweb booth at Creativation. Despite messing up 9 out of 10 demos, I really think it's a cool product and I just need a little bit more practice. So I'm going to start with this new technique that I created to make a marble design using Glitz Glitter Gel and normal ink. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video while showing you what the glitter gel looks like and um, yeah, it's I think it's a good card. Okay, so here are the products that we're going to be using today. This is our background sheet. This is the heavy base 120 pound white card stock and we're going to be using it on this Spellbinders embossing plate. It's actually meant for the die cutter, the Platinum 6, I think it's called. I just got it. It's new. But I'm going to be using this to use the new Gina K and Thermoweb Glitz Glitter Gel. I'm going to be using this turquoise and this gold. I actually demoed this at Creativation in Thermoweb's booth, and I messed up a lot in front of people, so sorry about that. But now I don't have to use a stencil, so I think I'll be a little bit better. I'm just going to be creating a design on the center and on the sides of the card. When you're creating a marble design, it's supposed to look a little messy so that's more in my realm of possibility. We're going to be using sea glass ink and an ink dauber to create a blended effect on the sides. Here's all my layering pieces and a sea glass card base and then a white gel pen for detail. So we are going to get started with the glitter background design. Okay so first thing I'm going to do is get some purple tape Purple tape is gentle on paper, but sometimes it does rip it if you just put it on there fresh. I like to touch it to my mat to pick up all the Cheeto dust and dog hairs and just make it a little less harsh of a stick. And then I'm going to put it down on this embossing plate like so, just to keep it organized. Now I'm going to take this ink dauber blending thing. I don't know what went wrong with mine. They just kind of slapped the top on there. It's like not even at all. So we're going to make it work anyway because I don't have any other ones. And we're going to start by inking this up. And then I'm just going to blend all across the center. It's okay to make it look messy. Marble wasn't created perfectly. And neither was I. The glitter gel will cover everything. The glitter covers most of your craft room when you're done with this. But also, I'm not that neat with this. I will just grab it with my fingers and put it on the piece of paper. I wouldn't recommend it, but I also kind of would. Makes you feel free. Oh, this finger is cramping. Now that I'm done with this part, I'm going to blend this corner and this corner and leave a thin line right here. Okay, so that's as far as my pointer finger is going to let me go. So now we are going to begin adding the glitter gel. Okay, so I'm going to start with the turquoise, and this is a paintbrush. I don't know what size it is. I know it has some teeth marks in it, but um, you can just use any size paintbrush that you feel comfortable with. I use a smaller one just because there's more control. You're going to start building the glitter around the center and just try to make it look splotchy and uneven. No problem with that here. This glitter gel dries really fast, especially when you're doing something thin like this. I know it looks a little textured, but it's really not that much. It'll dry in like 10 minutes. I may have taken it too far. And then with the excess, I'm just going to pat it around the outside here. Alright, now I can do it down here. The reason we put the blue over the middle too is because we want the blue to blend in with the gold. It makes it look cooler, I promise. And because I already did it, so there's no turning back. Some light glitter out here. Alright, now up here. 
Yes, your paintbrush might look a little rough at this point, but you can wash it and it usually goes back to normal. It is an aggressive technique though, I will admit. So that's about all I'm gonna do right now. And now I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. I think in the meantime, I'm going to have an oatmeal cream pie. In the meantime also, you can rinse out your paintbrush in some water. I know there's a shadow. And I know my water is dirty. So while that's drying, I'm gonna use my Connect Glue and my Cut Out Use. And I'm going to layer the black over the white. And I actually am gonna break out my tweezers for this, I think. But I'm gonna put the glue on the thickest parts. So now I'm going to flip. It's like I'm doing like nanosurgery. Look at that, okay. Perfect, yes! So you see how it has that nice little layering? Does it look correctly three-dimensional? Not really, but it gives the effect of it, so that's all that matters. So now we're gonna put that off to the side in a very, very safe place. And now we can check on if it's dry. Okay, it's not. It's been like five minutes though. I'm getting impatient. All right, I'm gonna blow on this for like five minutes and then I'll be back. Give me a second. It's honestly pretty dry. I'm just gonna start using the gold with it. It's been like seven minutes. The thinner parts are absolutely dry. These little thick blocks are a little, a little damp. I'm gonna actually mix it with the gold a little bit, so I think it's okay. I'm gonna build the gold from the center out. This is where I'm gonna take things too far. I just wanna like eat this. I am working on the second oatmeal cream pie though. Okay, and now I just have to finish it up on the outsides. I recommend using the thicker paper because it will get a little warped from this and the thicker paper won't get as warped as the thinner paper. That looks like my freshman year homecoming dress. There we go, okay. Can you see that shine? Oh, it's beautiful. I painted that whole last part with an oatmeal cream pie in my hand. I don't know what you people have on your resumes, but I think that could go on mine. Uh-oh. Do you see that right there? That is not good. While everything is drying, I just want to show you how pigmented this is when it doesn't have any dyes in it, actually. It's literally just glitter. I'm gonna do what all the beauty gurus do. Are you kidding me? Look at that. I don't recommend using this as makeup, but it certainly could pass as like super glittery makeup. All right, now I really can't eat my oatmeal cream pie. I am gonna die with turquoise and gold glitter on my corpse. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. Super glittery, super fun, super shiny. And to finish up this marble look, I'm just gonna take a white gel pen and I'm just gonna roughly go along the sides of the glittery part. This part does not need any talent. You don't even need your vision for this. Just feel where the glitter is. If any glitter builds up on the tip of your pen, just take it off. Your gel pen will come back to you. And then I'm gonna also add some extra parts going off like this. Marble is kind of random with these like veins, so I'm gonna be random with these veins. Something you can do too is once all the glue is dried, you can go over these parts again and add a little bit more blue ink just to give it a little more dimension. So that is what that looks like up close. Now all that's left to do is assemble the card. This was a piece of scrap white paper that I stamped a greeting that says are my favorite human from the love is all you need stamp set and it will go along very nicely with our giant U. and then I added some little gold embellishments to kind of tie everything together. So we are going to just glue everything together. This paper will be a little warped so do not panic. Just do this very slowly. You might have to remove it a couple times. There's no way I can do this sitting down. Nice hair stuck in there. I cut all of my layering 
to an eighth of an inch. There we go. All right, simple enough. Next, the white layer. This one's so much easier to see. Doesn't mean I can do it though. There we go. Okay, I've come this far. Okay. Stunning. And now we're going to glue this on there somehow. I was going to use 3D foam square, but it's just going to be at an awkward angle anyway, so I might as well just leave it stuck to the glitz. There we go. Alrighty. And finally, the U. I'm just going to... I normally would use my connect glue, but I don't feel like trying to do that right now. Oh, beautiful. And now we're just going to add some little shiny parts to the letters. All right. And there we have it. It in all of its beauty, all of its glittered glory. It's very lumpy, but it's beautiful. Ta-da. So this is the finished card. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, it's super shiny. So for last week's giveaway, I once again did a $25 gift certificate, and this week I'm doing the same. So I'm going to post the winners of last week's here, and the question for next week's giveaway right here. I figured I would just do this all at the same time to save energy and save sanity while I'm editing this later. But if you see your name here, remember to submit I won the Rina K giveaway to info at and we will send you your products right away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. I need to go clean glitter off every part of my body for the next three weeks. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. <coughs> my throat was getting raspy during that last part. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks, bye.